So you said you've come to realize that you're a philosopher and a poet at heart? Yeah, and it's interesting, you know, being an athlete and then being a coach and being in the Western world, we're always looking for the right answers. We're always looking for someone who can give us something definitive. We're always looking for cited, reference scientific studies with double-blind bullshit that points to something that's probably going to change in the future. We're always looking for that. Eh, I got it. Number one, to me, that's boring. Because it's like, oh, you got it. You figured it out. Where the fuck is the mystery in life? The whole beauty of life is the mystery, is not knowing, you know? So, in that way, science is boring to me. I think science is fascinating when you approach it from a poetic standpoint, like, look at this. We don't know what the fuck it is, but it's a lot of fun creating language and art, poetry. I, I really see science as a form of art as well, to describe to the best of our ability what's going on. And like you said before yesterday with regard to the color blue. Right. What did we call blue before there was the word blue? There was no word for the color blue 2,000 years ago. Right. We used more expressive means. What did they, wine what dark. Did they say? Wine. And what's wine mean? It means so much more than just a stagnant color. How much more beautiful is saying wine-like as opposed to blue? Now, wine-like is not right. Yeah. And they're not trying to be right. The shit is wine-like. Do you know what wine tastes like? You know what wine looks like? It, it's more visceral. So it, it's just so much more pleasing than, well, it's blue. You say wine light, you're wrong, motherfucker. You, you're wrong, no one's gonna listen to you, no one's gonna publish your books, you can't go on TV. People are scared light, of being wrong though, Elliot. It's blue. Huh? What do you think about, people are, are scared about being wrong. The expert, the myth of the expert where they always have to be right, where you said we're in the Western world, they're gonna tell you what to do and you have to follow it, why? Because they're the expert. Being afraid of being wrong is synonymous with afraid of falling and of being afraid of breathing, being afraid of sleeping, being afraid of love, being afraid of orgasm. These are all yin characteristics. These are all things that have to happen so that the opposite could happen. It's afraid of the darkness. If you if, if there's no darkness, there's no light. If there's no exhale, there's no inhale. Right? So to be afraid of wrong means that you're never dancing in the in in the in the play that would give you an opportunity to taste right. The learning process that would be right. It's a dance. It's a rhythm. It's all this shit is a rhythm. Even even down to the molecular level here. This is not a solid thing. This is a, a moving in and out of particles. It's protons and neutrons. I mean, they're blinking in and out. Bringing it's, the science in this. It's on and off. The di like the digital age that brings us uh, the ability to make these videos. What is it? It's a set of on and off switches. Zero one, zero one, zero one. In all these different fucking patterns. You turn on your computer, what do you press? That little symbol that's a zero with a one through it. That's called a power symbol. Bang, opposites. Zero, one, right, wrong, light, Darkness, heaven, hell, day, night, and inhale, exhale, systole, diastole. It's all the shit. If we're scared, and if we're scared, the Greeks also had the term that Nietzsche used, Apollonian and Dionysian. The dark and mysterious, the primal, which is Dionysian, and the Apollonian, which is the society where we learn that's structured, and that when we lose our Dionysian characteristics, our primal nature, the trust, the instinct that we have, that we lose the essence of what it means to be human. Yeah, it's poetry. It's all poetry. And that's why when I, I think that's part of the reason why when I speak, it, so many people, it resonates with so many people. Absolutely. And people because it, it, it's speaking from the heart. It's speaking from the ball. There's no it's filter. Speaking, right. It's coming from that primal place. Yeah. You know, it, I, I'm not interested in being right. I'm not interested in proving anybody wrong. I'm interested in playing with these ideas and entertaining you with them because they're fun to me and apparently you enjoy entertaining them, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's it. That's, that's purely what I do. I'm not, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just singing.